I'm about to show you the most cost-effective way that you can combat mold in your garden. See out here in Dallas Fort Worth we've been getting an unseasonable amount of rain as of late and my rainwater catchment system is at capacity right now and while this is great for your moisture loving crops it can create a fungal problem when we're talking about your powdery mildew, leaf spot mold, gray mold, and black mold. See, combined with the humidity and the moisture, it's creating the perfect breeding ground for those fungal spores to want to spread on your leaves. And what you want to do in this situation is we're going to create our own fungicidal spray. You want to start by adding one teaspoon of sodium bicarbonate, aka baking soda, along with one teaspoon of dish soap. Then add in one cup of warm water. This is going to help that baking soda dissolve quicker in that solution. And then making sure you stir everything together so you can mix it real nice. Then pour your solution to make a combined total of one gallon of water. And next, just shake it up so you get a nice distribution of your sodium bicarbonate, soap, and water. Finally, pour the solution into your spray bottle of choice. And then now we're going to spray directly on our leaves, making sure that we spray both the tops as well as the bottom. And then we want to make sure that we reapply every 7 to 10 days or after a heavy rain. And now the reason why this works is because the sodium bicarbonate is actually changing the pH of the surface of the leaves, making it inhabitable for your fungal spores. And then the addition of the dish soap, it actually acts as a surfactant, making it so the solution can stick to the leaves. But I would say after about two weeks, if this mild fungicide seems to be ineffective, of course, making sure you're monitoring your progress, we can always step it up a bit by using a potassium bicarbonate as well, using the same exact formula. But then, of course, if we need to take it to the next level, we can always move to a copper based commercial product. But of course, making sure that you're monitoring your symptoms along the way. But of course, if you have questions, you can always drop me a line in the comments and I'll definitely help you sort this out because Goonies, we never say die.